Hello my friends and welcome back to Libra season, my Libra energy explained video vlog, yada yada yada. Yes, I am sitting on a rocking chair because that is the mood today. <laughs> so hey y'all, welcome back to my channel for this little series that I've been doing on my channel for a while now. We are actually getting pretty close to finishing up this whole like Zodiac energy series explained. So if you have other energies that you are interested in looking into, diving deeper into, check out all my other astrology videos because that'll help you out a lot. But yeah, diving into this energy, what does Libra look like? Well, first it's important to note that Libra is an air sign. It is a cardinal sign and it is ruled by Venus. And you might also know that Libra's archetype is the scales and it has a lot to do with balance. Basically, when you synthesize all of that together, you get a very people loving kind of person. You see a lot of people pleasers with Libra energy, but also just very social people or people that are genuinely made to be little social butterflies. I think a lot of the time people see Gemini as more of a social butterfly energy. But if we think about it, Venus rules relationships. The element of air rules like intellect and like mentally connecting with one another. And cardinal means that you're starting off, you know, the first foot to do it. Therefore, literally Libra loves to go out and start relationships, start connections and relationships with other people and just the world in general, because this energy has a lot to do with like feng shui too. And like what I was saying earlier about finding balance because of the archetype of the scales. In astrology, Libra naturally falls in the seventh house, which rules the other, which honestly makes a lot of sense because Libra energy is also that of a devil's advocate, somebody that can tell you the other side and present it to you in a way that's kind of persuasive and, you know, believable because Libras are notoriously good sweet talkers and very good debaters, persuaders. I mean, the energy of law or being a lawyer goes to Libra, so... However, all of that being said and considered, it's also important to notice that Libra often rules social standards, specifically when it comes to relating to other people. So basically, wherever you have Libra in your chart, you're going to find that you're kind of expecting people to behave a certain way that's more courteous, cordial, and perhaps maybe a little flattering to you because Libra energy is very much that of somebody who is going to reciprocate, give the compliment back, basically make everybody feel like they are being appreciated, even though Libra is no notorious for only doing that so they personally feel satisfied about the connections that they created. It's not commonly talked about but there is a manipulative streak in Libra energy where because they know basically what you might need to complement your attitude, your energy, or your overall aesthetic, they might be able to provide that to you while simultaneously having their own motives behind their back factored into pretty much every single thing that they say or present to another person. When you have planets in Libra or the seventh house in astrology or even just a strong Venus, you will find that there is a degree of imitation that you might throw back at other people simply because you know that that is what makes people comfortable. And that's the duality with Libra. Because the peace that they try to create outside of themselves just show this strong internal desire that they have that they feel like they have to get everything in order for, specifically in order for it to work. And with Libra energy, this is a perceptive intuition that these people will have. So to them, it's maybe not as obvious that, you know, this goes here or that goes there as much as it is just like a vibe that they feel like they can adjust somehow. Here's my attempt at using my Libra skills to build this little fake flower thing that I used for an expo the other day. I thought this was just so pretty and I just individually picked out all of these flowers and kind of just threw them together and voila, Libra qualities. Libra energy is also known for being indecisive, but 
why is that well you have the duality to consider for one or like i just recently called it over on my instagram talking about libra energy it is a battle between the head and the heart a lot of the time because yes while libra is an air sign it's in the head it's intellectual and it really does focus on this whole social structure thing it still is venus it still is your individual values your self-worth that sort of thing but now this shows up in relation to people which is where it gets a little tricky because like i said libra is a social butterfly so libra loves other people People. however there's some times where Libra can meet other people that make them feel some type of way and that's often because Libra is notorious for comparing themselves to other people sizing themselves up according to other people Libra energy basically says I'm worth more based on who I associate myself with and that can be really tricky and sticky sometimes because sometimes it's not always clear who you want to associate yourself with and what you value yourself at I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that Libra energy is very careful about making decisions because they're aware that whatever decision they make is cutting off another part of themselves and I have to agree. I mean if we think about it in terms of like clothing or fashion which is a very common Libra quality to focus on because of the general control that you have over how you're being valued up according to how you dress. I mean that sounds kind of shallow but is it really? Like that's just how people work. People just notice what they see and they make conclusions from that so Libra knows how to use that to their advantage and you know make changes based off of that for example you get a completely different vibe for me in this versus this because why it gives a different energy it's a different vibe that you're feeling from my vibe aka from what I decided to show you therefore you find a lot of Libras really enjoy clothing or just overall presentation of anything of beauty, value, etc. Because basically that can say a lot more about some undercurrents that are going on within something, you know, that you can only see at face value. See, now it's not really fair to pin Libra as superficial because this energy is doing something a little bit deeper even though it shows superficially. As I always like to remind people, Aphrodite was a savage in mythology because if people didn't admire her, she was moving on to the next thing. She wasn't waiting around for people to get the fucking hit. However, is that every Libra energy? Not necessarily because this energy can also be quite passive and kind of wait for an invitation from other people before they decide to shine their shine. That is kind of explained by the opposition to Aries because Aries is all about, you know, going after and getting your thing because you want it. Whereas Libra is more socially attuned and is like, well, yes, of course I want something, but there's other people that I'm going to have to work with and work through in order to get that. So basically that kind of dynamic can then determine where Libra is going to be coming from after that. So therefore the other may be their main focus and that might mean that they see their own hopes, goals, dreams, beliefs, etc. as basically just not being good enough. Remember this goes back to Venus or self-value. So Libra energy can often struggle with self-value compared to other people or more so in relation to other people. I have seen so many Libra placements that say, oh, you can't do this. Like you're hurting this person's feeling. You're not being socially correct. And it's like, Libra, if that's all you're focused on, you're literally not going to be able to do anything. There can be this degree of like not wanting to step on people's toes that you see with Libra as well, because again, this social etiquette is always in mind. When you have Libra placements, you are literally ingrained social etiquette to some degree. A lot of the time I do see this as people who grew up with parents who were openly in business relationships that the child got to watch and then thus learn how to be more socially appropriate when connecting and relating with people one-on-one -on -one to secretly get what you want. So honestly, it's really important to take that into account because I think people look at Libra as being this more peace loving energy, but the peace that they love is this feeling of admiration. You know, feeling like you are worth something is a very peaceful feeling because then from there, you know, you just are what you are. You don't have to prove anything. You don't have to be anything. And if we look at how all of the personal planets like Mercury, Mars, and Venus are all functions of the ego, you see how Libra energy kind of uses that function in a way that, you know, is a little bit more self-soothing but more so in relationship to others because that's what it's all about. This also can explain the whole idea of imitation is a form of flattery because you know imitation on a Libra level is more so like hey I relate with you I see you I get you and we're on the same page which brings a sense of inner peace to both parties. 
However, if the imitation of Libra is done without a strong sense of self or that strong ego to root that Venus value, you basically might find that Libra placements act from a very FOMO type place where they are imitating the people around them because they just wish that they were like them, but without the conscious understanding that that's where they're coming from. Basically, it becomes really, really important for Libras to acknowledge when they like something or like someone because they will start to mimic it. They will start to pick up things about it that they like and then start acting that way so if they don't give credit where credit is due Libra can again just fall into that more superficial look where they're just blowing smoke up everybody's ass because that makes them feel a sense of peace and let me tell you those are the people that are the people that everybody seems to like but then you just have this little smell that you're like something's off about you that's probably why it's the manipulation within the people pleasing for me Libra One of my favorite and I would say probably the best way to describe Libra energy is looking at the Greek heteras, which were like prostitutes basically. Or in other words, they were companions that were normally very well educated. They were women that were normally very well educated, which apparently wasn't the norm in Greece at this time. So basically these women would be very socially cultured, very astute, very good conversationalist. However, they'd also be your friend to have around for any sexual services or basically just kind of be like an escort where they come to parties with you, they vibe with you, but there's not really any strings attached. And you see that a lot with Libra energy, not really having too many loyalties or strings attached to specific people or things because that limits them. It genuinely limits this energy to just stay true to like one person or have that real like in-depth loyalty with things because of how much this energy needs to kind of take note of other things and accommodate for them. This energy is honestly way too well versed in different energies and how they work and how to maneuver them in ways that are helpful and efficient for other people to the point where they can make anything work with any single person. So it becomes very much up to a Libra person to look within themselves and see what actually fits for them at times when they're away from all that hustle and bustle of socializing. Otherwise, Libra might pawn their energy off to groups or people or associations that don't really fully value everything because they aren't considering everything that Libra energy wants to consider and sees as valuable. Funny enough, we actually have a whole like generation of people that have like Uranus and Neptune square Libra energy, specifically more in the later degrees of Libra. So consequently, you see a lot of people projecting these more misogynistic feelings that you see with more of a rigid Capricorn illusion of, you know, power and dominance over somebody. I mean, clearly that just has issues when you put it towards like a prostitute energy, because as we know, any uncontrolled feminine energy is just very much not appreciated in society because it kind of seems too easy or superficial or vain, which are things that are commonly associated with Libra energy, but that's because people don't seem to understand the depth of Libra energy, which holds this duality of the mind and of the heart and of beauty all at once. Unlike Capricorn, let's say, because like Capricorn would feel fine destroying that beauty if they thought, you know, it was going to bring them closer to their goals. Or maybe in contrast to like Cancer energy, where because they're taking care of business so much on the inside, they don't really feel the need to beautify things on the outside or to gather attention from the outside. Or considering the opposition to Aries, where it's like, we don't need another person to do this, you know, Libra has a lot of shit thrown at it from all of those other perspectives that basically say, well, like, why do you need other people to do the things you want to do. And basically Libra can answer this question by saying, why do you need me along for the ride in order to enjoy things? Yep, that's right. I said what I said. Libra energy is really good at making sure that everybody is having a good time, unlike every other sign in the fucking zodiac. Yet like the host of a party, this energy is normally undermined because of how much effort they're putting in for everybody else to have a good time to forget about the effort that needs to be put in. That's why it's square Capricorn energy, squaring that hard work vibe. In other words, Libra energy makes it look easy. It's the whole I can do what you can do, but in stilettos mentality for me. <laughs>